Hey fellas, uh, welcome to my new video, uh, wait, this isn't my video, <laughs> mm. oh, that's good, that's good tea, peach tea in my Stormtrooper mug, mmm, oh, I think I'll have one more, oh, that's good, well, hey fellas, got the F4 Phantom finished, and, uh, well, I thought I got it finished a couple days ago, but uh, once I got it together, I wasn't really happy with the tail letters, so I painted over them and repainted them, and then I painted over them and repainted them, and finally on the fourth try, I got them to where I was satisfied with them. And and that's one of the things, if, if something bugs you, um, fix it, and uh, so that's what I did. Uh, it took me a little longer, but I'm not really on a time constraint here. But, uh, yeah, I got to where I went. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it's different. You don't see too many of the, the Ghost Riders in 132nd scale. I haven't found any decals. There may be decals for them out there. But, um, you know, like I like I said before, I painted painted all the, uh, all the stuff that I could paint. And uh, I think it turned out pretty good. Um, before we take a look at it, I had somebody on YouTube uh, criticize me about why, about taking a drink when I open up my videos, and and uh, uh, that's fine. I, I don't really care. Um, I'm kind of a dork, and I'm not afraid of looking like a, a, a dork. So, uh, but he also criticized uh, the, the fact that I tend to talk on my videos, and I don't do it because I like to hear the sound of my voice. Uh, I find in, from watching other YouTubers, I think it helps a lot to kind of get in the mind and, and, and hear the process that a modeler goes through uh, when they do this. And, and, it's, and it's also, a lot of it is, is for my benefit. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any other outlets. I do have a website, but I don't have any other like social media outlets where I share, uh, share my work with with other people. So YouTube's my only outlet for that. I hate Facebook. Um, you know, I'm not on MySpace. I don't know if MySpace is even, um, around anymore. I'm not, a I'm not a tweeter. I'm not on Insta chat or Instagram or whatever the hell that is. So this is my only outlet to do that. So, um, it, it just makes, it makes modeling more enjoyable for me if I can share it with, with other people. Uh, and if you don't like to hear me talk, then fast, and you want to see, you know, what I do, then just fast forward through my, my talking uh, crap. So, but that's all I got to say about that. Uh, had a mouse in the house this morning, and the dogs found it, and it was on the curtain right above my daughter's head, and they kind of flipped out about it. So, I got to work on catching a mouse today. But anyway, let's take a look at what I did. I tried a couple different things, uh, a couple different new things with, with this one. Uh, like I said before, I had magnetized all the, the, uh, everything underneath, so it just plops right on. And I ended up using two magnets because these are kind of heavy. One here, one, uh, back here, and then two up here. So that worked out pretty well. Same thing on the pylons, they come off. Uh, these are the... I think these are called sparrows. They they are uh, magnetized as well, and they fit in there. So everything fits in there pretty solidly. Uh, I also on these tanks, <clears throat> I ended up weathering the heck out of these tanks. And something I, on a lot of my on a lot of my planes, I tend to uh, not weather the bottom of the plane that much. Um, I just don't waste my time with it but this one I kind of I tried to tried to weather it a little bit and work on some things so I ended up using um, lead pencil to make some scratches uh, I used a bunch of different oil washes on this one I did the salt technique on the bottom and sprayed uh, Tamiya uh, smoke over it and you know that kind of gives it that dirty patchy patchy look to it I think they turn out pretty good. Maybe a little, uh, little much for for this plane, but you know, I got to try new stuff. Um, the the exhaust 
I did a couple different things with it. What I ended up doing is I, I, I uh, painted it with aluminum, uh, AK Extreme Metal Aluminum, and then I did the hairspray technique and then spray painted NATO black or uh, airbrush NATO black onto it and then uh, chipped away the, the NATO black and then I went over it with uh, uh, smoke and uh, clear orange and clear blue and then I took some, uh, uh, I used ink, I did an ink wash, a uh, black ink wash and went over it and then uh, dry brushed the, the tips with an aluminum color and I think they turned out pretty cool. May not be exactly the way the the uh, exhaust looks on a, on the real one, but I think it looks pretty cool. So, yep, did that. Um, and like I said, I, I really weathered the bottom. I did a lot of streaking, just based on some some pictures of of uh, what other modelers have done. Uh, it's similar to what was in my encyclopedia aircraft modeling. They had a picture of an F4 in there that that the guy had done this way. So I think it looks pretty cool. The, uh, my weighted wheels, these are rubber wheels and I ended up uh, melting the bottom of it and squishing it down to try to get it, give it that weighted look. And I think it turned out okay. Uh, what I did is I ended up using, I put the, uh, the tire in a spare, a spare wheel that I had because what happens is the heat ended up melting and deforming the wheel. So if you do this, you don't you don't want to do that while it's on the the actual wheel that you're going to use because the heat can melt that, that the the wheel. But uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. The uh, the paint job basically back black based, and then I did uh, a real fine marbling layer with white, and then painted over my light gold gray, and. Uh, and then I use just white on the bottom. It calls for insignia white, but uh, I just use white just to have a little more of a contrast in, in, the, in the colors. <clears throat> um, every, my, my stencils, I had Warbird. They were Warbird hobby stencils, and they turned out really well. I didn't get any silvering. I did have a pretty good finish on this. It was pretty smooth. So, um, that I mean, that helped. But uh, there were... I, I think I I used micro scale, um, micro saw, micro set, and then I ended up using uh, some solva set on them, and, and they snug down real good. And I don't have I, I couldn't find uh, any silvering. If there is, it's very minor. They didn't have this uh, jet intake decal in, in the stencils. Uh, this, so this is the Tamiya decal. What I end up doing is just cutting all the carrier film just using the red part and then uh, a few uh, few coats of solve set and I got it to got them to stick down pretty well but everything else is painted there my tail letters I end up redoing and uh, <laughs> I probably got like 10 coats of paint on there but uh, they were all light coats so it I don't have too much of a, a paint build up but I got them finally the, to where I wanted them um, what I wasn't happy with was the 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 K was wonky and it was up here. It wasn't in line. The pictures that I've seen, the top of the K is in line with this uh, this part, this segment right here. So I ended up fixing that, and and then I got them. They were too small, and then I had to end up redoing them. But uh, I got them to where I wanted. Um, but but that's uh, that's the finished plane. I, the uh, the the only oil work I did I did a little bit of oil work up here with some lighter colors. I also did some. Uh, it's very subtle, but I did some um, oil work up here, basically like a dot filtering. I spread. Uh, I coated it with enamel thinner or mineral spirits, and then I put um, little dots of of smoke colored oil paint on there and then just kind of blended it in to give it kind of a dirty look. I also did that along along the uh, the wing right there. Um, and then over certain parts of the plane. But overall I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the canopy, I've got the canopy where you can have it open. I've got a ladder somewhere. 
and then uh, that's that's about it, fellas. Um, so I will quit jabbing and uh, show you some pictures. I got a bunch of pictures. Some of them are of the uh, some actual reference pictures that I that I modeled it after, and uh, so take a look. Hey fellas, I almost caught a mouse this morning. <laughs>